um, you haven't been brushing very well and flossing's uh, not been uh, kept up to daily. To daily use, you might find that you've already got some plaque buildup on your teeth. And with plaque, if it's left for a very long time, then essentially it actually hardens on the teeth. And because it hardens, it can be very difficult to remove just with conventional brushing. So what we would recommend is you see your dentist. Your dentist will uh, check that you've actually got some plaque buildup and he will obviously explain and um, go over how you should be brushing, making sure that you're covering all the surfaces of the teeth. And then the first thing to do would be to actually diagnose how severe or how progressed um, your gum problem is. Okay, So this is what we use. It's a very simple uh, little device. It's called a periodontal probe. And this, there are very different variants of this, but I'm just using this as an example. It's got small little lines demarcating on this. So I beg your pardon. It's got small lines that are demarcating different uh, measurements, and usually they're either in different increments for the dentist to measure how deep this little probe goes in between each of the teeth. So usually your dentist will just gently, very gently pressure, just introduce this to the sides of the teeth, and he will call out a number to the system to indicate how deep that probe goes in between each of the teeth. So a smaller number, like a one or two, is uh, considered quite normal, but the higher the number, the deeper that little pocket becomes, and the more difficult it becomes to clean with conventional brushing or flossing. So a periodontal probe is used to detect how progressed the gum problem is. More commonly, we're using a specific device, and this device, it actually, it's a machine that actually vibrates the tip of the scaler at an ultrasonic level, so it vibrates at a very, very high frequency, so it's actually a lot more comfortable, and it has a small irrigant with water, so it helps to flush the cleaning process while the hygienist or the dentist is cleaning your teeth. So a piezo scaler will basically be used for the general cleaning of the teeth to make sure that the plaque and tartar is removed. And then any difficult to reach areas um, with the manual scaler can be used to clean any remaining uh, plaque or tartar that's still left behind. As a follow-up, after a few weeks, your dentist or hygienist will ask you to return to the clinic and again they will use the periodontal probe to measure and see how those depths of the pockets have either stabilized or have even improved. So once the buildup of plaque, that hard buildup that's been removed with the cleaning process or the, or the cleaning, once that's removed then the gums have an opportunity to actually reattach to the teeth again and that probe will be hopefully going to a lesser depth than when the gum problem was initially um, diagnosed. So we can't reverse bone loss in gum disease but we can prevent it from getting any worse and at least stabilizing the situation because it's not a problem to have some areas in your mouth where the probing depth is slightly lower but what's important is that we don't allow that to um, deteriorate further because this hasn't been uh, picked up, it hasn't been diagnosed by a dancer. So we have techniques and means to obviously um, help with the cleaning. Um, things like smoking and social habits, etc. Those obviously, if you're smoking, if you're able to stop smoking, that would certainly help. And obviously alcohol consumption can also help improve um, your chances of gum disease being improved in your mouth.